In this demonstration we're going to have a look at hub transport rules and the purpose of these things is to allow us to affect email as it passes through the hub transport server. So what we're going to have a look at, we'll have a look at the various options that we have in place to create these actual message transport rules. So we'll come up to organisation configuration, click on hub transport and what we want to do here is we want to have a look at the transport rules. So on the transport rules what we can do here is first of all we'll just create a new rule. What we can see off here is we can see that rules are based off conditions and actions and then exceptions. We then create the rule, we then complete the rule. So in the case of this rule here, the first one I'm going to create here is just going to be a company disclaimer. Within here we can put a comment in here. So what we put in here is company email disclaimer to be attached. To bottom of email. Then we click next. Under the conditions we can decide exactly in the conditions what we want to set up here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to enable this rule and I'm going to send this to users that are either inside or outside of the organization. Turn this little tick box here. So down at the bottom here we can see do we want to send them to users inside, outside, external partner organizations, or external non-partner organizations. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on inside the organization and click OK. Click next. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to do an action. And what I want to do here is I want an appended disclaimer text on fail back at this point here. So what we're going to do here is as we can see we can either append the disclaimer, prepend the disclaimer, I want to append it. Then what we do is click OK here specify our disclaimer text. So what we're going to do here is just put in that this email and attachments are intended for internal use. Only by the individual or group. Click OK here. What we can also do as well is just in the case of what we want to do for the, the fallback action. So wrap, ignore, or reject. Click next. Next thing we can do here is we could set up any exceptions. So for example, except when the message is from certain people, don't put that on there. Except when the message is from a member of the distribution group, and so on down the list. So as you can see. There is quite a few options that we can put in here for exceptions. So now that I've done that, I'll click next. What I'll now do is I'll now just create the new rule. Click my finish button. So we now have our company disclaimer rule intact. So what we'll do here is just come into Internet Explorer. And we'll just send an email message. So we've logged in as Luca. As Luca, what we're going to do here is we're going to send a new email message. I'm going to send this email message to our administrator user. So to administrator, subject will just be test, this is a test, click our send button, that's now winged its way off to our administrator user, so what we'll do is we'll just log in as our administrator user. So logged in as administrator, here's the test email message from Luca. So if we double click on this, what we can see is we can see right down at the bottom of our email, this email and attachments are intended for internal use or by the individual or group. So this proves that that message transfer rule has worked. And as you could see, and it is worth having a look, 
There's literally hundreds of rules we can set up to control exactly what happens with mail as it passes through our system. Let's end this demonstration.